This is so. <laughs> this is rich. And we are from, from across, across the, the pond. pond. Yes. How are you? I'm all the better for seeing you. I mean, I only saw you a few minutes ago. If anyone wonders why we're laughing, I paused the recording. We already done like 10, 15 minutes of the show. I paused the recording to answer a telephone call. Then I could take the show back up. Accidentally, I pressed stop rather than pause. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All that material lost. All oh, that good material. I consider myself thoroughly told off, which I was before we recorded again. And I shut, if anybody's watching, do not call me on a Friday or a Sunday around this time. I'm not allowed to answer. Anywho, how was your week? As I just told you, my love about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, usual work. Alfie broke up from school for the summer on Wednesday, which you said you found bizarre because your kids are getting really ready to go back to school. Over yeah, there. they got like a month <laughs> left for school. I mean, they got a month left for summer and then back to school they go. Yeah, they get six weeks off here. So he'll go back the first week of September. So yeah, broke up on Wednesday. Um, my garden is finished. Whoop, whoop. And um, yes, I was saying that tomorrow you will find me with a rosé wine spritzer in the garden, feet up, enjoying the surroundings. And we were talking about the weather, how it's oh, extremely God. hot over there. It's Ridiculous warm here, summer. but we call that summer. So I really don't complain about the heat. Yeah, but the summer. thing is, I swear to God, heat abroad is different to here. Here, it's really humid. There's no air. I was saying you could be sat naked and still be dripping with sweat. Like 90 degrees here probably Ugh. feels like 70 or 60 over there. It's really, honestly, if you could feel it, you'd be like... 90 degrees is 90 degrees anywhere you go. Yeah, but if there's no air. There's no air. It'd still be 90 degrees. Anyway, the summer's better abroad. Um, yes, you were we saying. Talked about her, I was talking about how I had a cold cut sub. We were oh, discussing oh, yeah. meals of the week that we found delicious. Because. And camel burger. Because, yeah, and you were saying it gave you the hump. Because um, we always say I the same. Day. We always say, <laughs> we always say the same thing every week. What have you done this week? Went to work, spent, you know, done the mum thing. Nothing really. So on our Wednesday meeting, we need to really discuss, should we incorporate, have you had an extra delicious meal? What's your favourite meal been this week? Because we're foodies. And we got to jazz it up because even my dad gets bored of me saying I haven't done nothing. Hey. And we're foodies. That's all I can yeah. say. Yeah. So let's discuss that on Wednesday. We will. I'll, I'll add it to the agenda. What's going on over there in the news? <laughs> you know what I'm going to say? Boris. <laughs> Boris. Boris I'm not going to say Boris. I'm going to say Boris Johnson. The vaccine. So Monday was D-Day here. You don't have to wear masks anymore. All of the other restrictions were lifted. I just, I, I think that, you know, like, from, okay, I'm going to pick myself up here. From the beginning, for months, I have been saying, it's all a ploy. Can't people see that? Boris has said this and actually it is going to happen. Da, 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 da. Do you know what I mean? Like he's been planting seeds. I think people are genuinely starting to think that now for a few reasons. One is from Monday, everything's lifted. Bars are open, restaurants are open, nightclubs, whatever, 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 right? But from September, you will have had to have two vaccines before you can go into a nightclub. But they're open now and you can go in now when you haven't had a vaccine. But in two months time... You're going to have to have had both vaccines. So what happens in the next two months? Anybody and his dog can go in there. But then after September, bam, actually, no, you've got to have had the vaccine. Surely they would do that from the beginning, right? Don't make no sense. Yep. 
don't make no sense. Don't um, make no sense. What's the other thing that don't make no sense? Oh, that's it. Even if you've had double jabs, pop, pop, you can still get COVID. Well, they said that. But that's a joke. What's the point of having a vaccine then? It's keeping you from dying. That, I keep trying to tell people that. It's keeping you from dying. COVID has got a 95% success rate of coming out the other side and not dying anyway. So the vaccines... Are you serious? If you you end up on a ventilator, you might as well say you're going to see your maker sometime soon. Now... Listen, that's the figures they've given us. Don't shoot the messenger. Yeah, no. The fact of getting vaccinated is a simple fact of the matter, it prevents you from dying. Yes, you can still get COVID. Doesn't mean you still have symptoms, but it won't be as worse as if you didn't get vaccinated and you get sick and end up in the hospital and possibly, possibly dying when it's unnecessary. Listen. I watched a thing on the news last <coughs> night and the lady said, she she put an analogy together that I thought that was very smart when it comes to vaccinating and not being vaccinated. She said, vaccinating is like having a seatbelt. Seatbelts are not guaranteed that you're gonna survive, but you're pretty much, it'll tell you that you're pretty much save your life and it protects you from people around you okay so going to people her analogy you. going to her analogy did they have seat belts in cars when they were first built no my dad used to have car in the 70s or whenever you didn't have a seat belt in the back never mind we're the not front. talking about back then we're talking about right now but what i'm we're saying is right it's a now. growth thing over time it's grown and improved and they've added seat belts so over time they should carry on and investigate the vaccine and maybe what? More people, people are think. dying at an alarming rate and now we had a we had our president now have a town hall meeting and he's saying that it's the battle of the unvaccinated because we have this new D I call it the D variant which is supposed to be worse than the regular COVID and it's easier to transmit right now they're saying and remember I told you remember I told you last week we're going to be going back to mask in the fall Oh, I'm telling you, we're going back to lockdown. It's going to get worse. Now, this is what's going on in the news. A lot of people are hot about the kids going back to school. There's a there's Virginia. They're having a big debate about kids going back to school wearing masks full time. How do you feel about that? Would you be upset if if uh, Alfie had to wear a mask full time. A, he wouldn't wear a and mask school. anyway. And B, that's not me saying that. I'm saying he physically wouldn't keep it on. And B, from day dot, they've been saying that kids are the least uh, likely to catch it. So why are you going to make them the least vulnerable? That's not necessarily true. Mask? They're just not old enough to get the vaccination. No, from the beginning, they were saying kids are least likely to get COVID, which is why they kept saying... They just, showed, they just had on the news... Again, yesterday, a lady and her husband, they got sick. Their kids got sick and she has a baby and a, a I, I say an infant. And I don't, I don't want to say, to, I want to say toddler because the baby was on there. She looked about maybe six or seven and they were both sick with COVID. Yeah. Again, then I'll say, and they I have no friend, idea what they're talking about. And I had about. a friend who had COVID and her daughter had COVID. Yet again, I'll say they don't know what they're talking about and they're making it up as they're going along. The only thing I'll say as regards to cutting this bloody COVID chat, because otherwise it'll turn into a COVID chat. I was show, just telling you what was going on. Is everybody's got a choice now, right? Whether to wear a mask, whether to get the jab. It's everybody's individual choice. You, not you personally, you shouldn't judge somebody for not wanting to get the jab and I shouldn't judge somebody for getting the jab. It's everybody's personal choice. Whatever their reasoning is, is up to them. You shouldn't be so blooming judge. Not you. I'm saying you, as in addressing the people. People yeah. shouldn't be so judgmental. Whatever people's choices is, as long as you do what's right for you and what you believe, 
that's their business. Let everyone else get on with what they want. I just, I just feel sorry for people. If you don't want to get vaccinated, I suggest that you wear a mask, even though they say masks don't really help. I don't know that for sure. I'm vaccinated. My thing is, do the research. I watched a guy on this morning, ex-football player, because right now, NFL is starting to get real ugly when it comes to football this year, talking about forfeiting and People are getting sick, and now we have the Olympics that start today. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of people are getting sick, and they're in a country <laughs> that is getting hit hard with the new the new strain. So they're being extra precautious, but then people can still get sick. So I just worry about the people. If you don't want to get vaccinated or you're questionable about vaccine, do the research like the court, like the one quarterback said this morning, do the research. But and there's so the much research, out there, so much the out shot, there. Get the shot. There's so much out there, conspiracy theories, stuff that the government have said, stuff that is true, stuff that's not true, conspiracy, whatever, whatever, whatever. You just have to read everything and take what you take the bits that you feel are right for you. But like I said, people shouldn't judge other people just because they don't want to wear a mask or they don't want to get the jab. People get the flu shot, but still get the flu. It's the same thing. Exactly. So you just said it before we end the news. Olympics started. Do you watch it? Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you, I don't watch all of it. No. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to watch certain things like track and field, which I happen to love. And I do like swimming. I like gymnastics. And I like the gymnastics. Yeah. I like the gymnastics and I like the track bits when they've got more than one thing going on. So, like, they'll go to here, go to there, go to there. I don't like it if you're stuck on the same one, like, oh, here we go, 10,000 mile race. <laughs> nah. Ooh. It's not for me. And I'm hoping that they air boxing. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, we boxing fanatics. I'm hoping we have some spectacular, some spectacular. Talking about the, I'm talking. The the book the, the my brain's going off now again. Talking now, you've mentioned boxing. September UK versus Ukraine, Anthony Joshua versus Uzak. Pop, 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 it's going down. Who do you think could, I know who you're going for. This is Ukraine. A <laughs> I do back the Ukraine, but I love a bit of AJ. Anyway. Oh, okay. We are he back. Got knocked out by it. He got knocked out by an uh, underling. <laughs> oh, well, we've had that discussion already. So come on. Fun Friday. We Fun are talking. Dreams. <laughs> and we don't mean we don't we don't mean literally like can dreams come true? Because they can. Everyone needs to have faith. We're talking about dreams. When you take 40 winks, your brain goes off on one. Now I personally understand a dream is basically your subconscious brain. Like if you've seen something or you've had something on your mind, your subconscious brain will think about it when you're asleep. That's how what I believe. Is that what you believe? Well, that's what I believe. I believe. I, all I know is if you're dreaming, that means you're sleeping good. That means you're sleeping good. You're in a deep one. You're in a deep sleep. That means you're actually sleeping. If you're not dreaming, you're not sleeping. That's what I was told. Well, I also heard you have between five to 12 dreams every night, lasting as little as 15 minutes up to two hours. Each really? Mm. Now, I have had dreams where they were kind of, because I have a lot of night terrors. Is so, that like the nightmares? Yeah, it's the same thing. But you wake up. Mm. And then you go back to sleep and you fall right back to that same dream. Okay. <laughs> Talking about night terrors, right? I heard once, you know, when you have a dream that you're falling like off a cliff or like, and you're dream, and when you get to the bottom, you go, <gasps> right? You know them dreams? Yeah. Someone at some point when I was growing up told me if you have that dream that you're falling and you don't wake up, you hit the bottom, then you die. Yeah. And guess what? I'm a myth buster because I had a dream that I was falling and I kid you not, I hit the ground and I hurt so bad that when I woke up, my whole left side felt like I actually hit the ground. Well, 
Number one, I'm glad you busted that myth. But number two, do you know why it couldn't be true? Because if it is true, how would anyone know that? Because anyone who'd had that dream and died wouldn't be able to wake up and tell you, would they? Because they'd have died. So whoever made that up. I don't know, but I had that dream before. And I kid you not, I was thinking that way as I was falling. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, am I not going to wake up? And I hit the pavement. I hit it hard too, to the point to where when I woke up, my body was like this on the bed. Like okay. I actually fell. Let, let me tell you what they say the top 10 most common dreams are. Your teeth falling out, being chased, Stress. being chased, unable to find a toilet, naked in public, unprepared for an exam, flying, falling, what we just said, out of control vehicles, finding an unused room or being late. Now, let me tell you, when I was younger, I mean like a child and a teenager, I constantly dreamed that my teeth were falling out all the time. That was the main dream I'd have all the time. And, it and says they here, say that when your teeth fall out, mm -hmm. that's a sign of stress. Well, it says here, dreams about your teeth falling out can reflect anxiety, either about your appearance or how other people perceive you. Ooh. Ooh. Anxiety is right on that borderline of stress. Now, just to clarify, I have got all my teeth and I, I've never had a feeling. None of them have fallen out. They are here all 32. Yeah, I got all my pretty teeth. I mean, yours are a lot whiter than mine, but Americans normally are. Really? Just because we have fluoride in our water. Potato, potato, whatever the reason. <laughs> you know, I've got whiter teeth. <laughs> And I, and I take particularly care. I, I'm not to say that you don't take good care of your teeth. I'm Twice just a saying. Day for two I'm minutes. I particularly take really good care of my teeth. And that's just a stigma because I had really crooked teeth as a child. I got braces. <laughs> oh, I have braces. That, and now that they're, they're uh, decent looking. My nails are white. I and take really good care of them. I take, I take really good care of them. Okay, so yeah, I used to dream about my teeth falling out. Now, um, please don't judge me. As I got older, right, and was in late teens, early 20s, I swear to God, for years, the only dreams I could ever remember when I woken up were either being chased, which according to this means being chased, you are, uh, suggests you are running away from something. Or, so I would only ever dream about being chased or having sex. And unfortunately, Ooh. don't tell me what that dream means, but Ooh, they were my, oh, hold on, it says, well, it says being naked in public. Being naked in public, oh, being so naked free. in a dream symbolizes <laughs> not, oh, now this is very interesting. Being naked in a dream symbolizes not being able to find yourself. Ooh. Ooh. I've had dreams of me running down the street naked. Same thing, you can't find yourself. He but says then, you know, I think as a teenager, everybody has sex dreams. It says, it says, if you're you, hormonal, it says, if you are not the naked person in your dream, but you see a naked person um, and you are sickened by it, it means you're worried about exposing that person for some lie. Ooh. 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 I never had that. What do you normally dream about then? Death. Oh, does it say death? Being changed, did I say death? Nah. I do, because I don't want to die. Okay. I think about death a lot. Hold on. <laughs> so you dream about dying or you dream about somebody else dying? I dream about dying. In always the same way? Well, no. When my brother passed away, okay. I used to have dreams about him and the situation and it never came out the right way. It always either it always either ended up him being alive and me being dead, both of us being dead, or him being dead and I being alive. He's it never worked out to where both of us was alive at the same time. It's a subconscious thing in your brain. It says death in a dream symbolizes the end of something and the beginning of something new. Dr death dreams provoke emotions. 
I yeah. need to find out what it was called, but I watched this thing on Netflix and it's a it's a, only like you know like a short film goes on for like 20 minutes. And basically, um there's a young black guy who goes and spends the night we are like a one night stand with a chick, leaves to go home the next day and gets killed by a cop. But when the cop kills him, he wakes oh, yeah, up in yeah, their bed. Yeah. Why is it cop? I've seen that. It's a bit oh, like no, Groundhog yeah. Day. Um so, He's going home to his dog. Yes. So he then, when the cop kills him, that's when he wakes up in the bed with the girl again. So each day he tries to avoid getting killed by the old Bill. Um, and I can't remember what it's called. Have you seen it? I've just it? seen that too. It was only like maybe. Yeah, it's like a short film, right? 20, 30 maybe, minutes long. Yeah, it was, I think it was like only like 20 minutes. Mm. But he was going back to his house to yeah. feed his dog. And he couldn't figure out, like he tried everything every day. He took a different route home. He and made remember he got right to the door? Yeah. He got right to the door and the cop was like. Yeah, you did it, yeah. And bow. Pop. Yes. Hold I up. can't believe Let me you see if I can find that. So Get I can in. Let I mean, know. I found Hold that on. really good. Um, that was. I mean, it's not really a film, so we couldn't do a film review on it. But yeah, I'm glad you've seen it as well. I'm going to make a note if you find it. What is it called? Because it is definitely worth a watch, especially with everything going on in the news at the min. Um, I liked the concept. I wish it would have lasted a bit longer, though, because I wanted to know, did he ever find a way to get home? Because you don't know, do you? Uh-uh. Sorry, folks, we just got to wait for him to find it. He can't do two things at once. Two distant strangers. Yes, that is the one. Yeah, I am. Um, I'm going to put a, two distant strangers. I'm going to put a link up uh, on Netflix. Um, yeah, I really wanted to know, did he actually. In 32 minutes. <laughs> I wanted to know, did he ever actually find a way to get home? Because not meaning to give away spoilers in case people want to watch it, but you know the time that he went and made friends with the cops sat in the back of the car and the cop was like, I'm going to drive you home. I was like, yes, he's made it home. He's found a way. Plot twist. Blah, blah. <laughs> so yeah, two distant strangers just going off the, well, not going off the plot of a dream because I seem dreaming anyway. All right, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. What was your dream last night? can't remember i can tell you my dream was crazy i was in court and i was a do y'all have this in there where you're um i forgot what they call it here where you get picked to be a jury jury duty oh jury duty yeah do y'all have that there yeah i'd love to do that okay well i had jury duty yeah and it was these guys that were some of them I knew, and the guy that was on the stand, I knew from back in the military days, and he was being charged with something. And then all of a sudden it switched to where I was riding in this car, okay? And these people robbed me, and I'm naked. <laughs> I, get, I had to walk all the way to the precinct holding my, holding my goods, I get to the precinct because I have to do jury duty. I get to the precinct. This guy who was at the courthouse was at the precinct and was like, oh man, what happened to you? And I was just like, I got robbed and I have jury duty. So the guy gave me this all white painter suit. You ever see those suits where you, you use the paint or yeah, yeah, yeah. He gave me this white jumpsuit. Yeah. Okay. Now, he goes, I'll give you a ride, but you have to come with me because I have to switch cars with some guy. So I'm like, I'm at his beck and calls. So I'm like, okay, cool. It switches to me being this guy's house and this guy has King Corsos. You know what King Corsos are? They're a vicious dog. Okay. Okay. And the dog had puppies. And here I go, I want one of those King Corsos. How much do they cost? He goes, a thousand bucks. I go, I will be back next week. <laughs> and in my head, I'm thinking about how am I gonna get a thousand bucks so I get me a King Corso puppy. And then I wake up. 
Tell Don't you find it weird? Like that I find there's two types of dreams really. Ones that when you wake up, you remember everything word for word, counter for counter, but literally within five minutes it's gone. You're like, oh, I remembered it a minute ago. Or there's ones like you that you remember every detail, every word for hours yeah. after. Like I'm just checking because I had a dream. <laughs> I had a dream in the week and I was downstairs. Yeah, but it was a massive tarantula, like, and it was hanging where the window frame is. It was just Ooh. hanging, and I ran past, and I was like, oh, my God, someone, please help me. There's a massive tarantula in there, and somebody looked at it and was like, oh, yeah, you're right, it is a tarantula, you know. Then I woke myself up. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you have these type of dreams? I do this a lot, too. I have a dream, okay? And then it comes fruition like a couple days later what actually happens yeah what do they call that like deja vu i want to say deja vu but i don't know i don't know the I, do, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a dream when i'm in bed asleep at night but i do have things happen to me when i think i've had this we've been in this car and had this conversation and i've been here this has already happened like i was going to say to you do you have daydreams yeah, I daydream all the time. Do you know you could ask you could ask Michaela, right? I could I'm a daydreamer. I could be there talking, and all of a sudden she'll say, "Oh God, the dude's gone into a stair," and I'm like, "Yeah, like I just zone out." And yeah, although I'm back. zoning out, like people I can think... go like this, I don't blink. They can talk to me, pass me stuff, I'll drink whatever, but I'm in the zone. Yeah, I'll be like, "Come back, <laughs> yeah. come back." No, that's my, that's my favorite line when I see somebody. They go go days off. But the they funny thing is, Alfie, Alfie does the same thing. Zones out like when he's awake. Ooh. Weird. But no, I've definitely had the deja vu thing. I wouldn't say it's necessarily from a dream I've had when I've... Well, it might be, but from a dream I've had when I've been asleep. Because, hell, I don't want to see no tarantula in my way. Well, that's what I'm saying. I, I'd be literally asleep. <laughs> and I'll say a few days later that dream comes to fruition. Okay, let me tell you something else about dreams, right? So I've been before to see a psychic, right? And when I went one time, I went to see a psychic, I went to see a psychic medium, right? Who supposedly connects with people that have yeah. passed away, right? Wait for it. So she um, she started talking about my granddad once. She said, oh, your nan and your granddad are here. I was like, okay, you know, you're a bit skeptical at the beginning. She said something about my granddad and I said, but I didn't know him because he died about a year before I was born. She said to me, but you do know him because you dream about him and he talks to you in your dreams and you remember it the next day. And I was like, oh my God, that is, that is honest to God true. I dream about my granddad and I always remember the dream the next day. And I'm like, how would she know that? And you believed. <laughs> of course. Did you pay her? How would she know that? Come on, that's like common sense. Like if you've never met anyone, most likely the first thing someone's gonna say is you dream about them. Yeah, but not that we talk and have conversations and I remember it the next well, that's day. The, that's the next thing, that's the next thing that's gonna happen if you dream about somebody. Not necessarily. I dream about Vin Diesel. I don't remember a conversation with him the next day. But you remember a dream about him though. <laughs> yeah, but that's X rated. I can't talk about them dreams on the show. It's a family show. Freak. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Go for it. No, go for it. No, I'll, no after you. <clears throat> now, have you ever had dreams that you've woken up and just cannot go back to sleep because you're scared to? Oh God, yeah. Like all the time, and it, you you'll like be like, oh my God, thank God that's over, and then I'll be like, oh my God, what was that noise? Oh my God, what is that? I best not go to sleep. You know. Sometimes I fall asleep in a different room other than my bedroom. And if I have a nightmare, then I wake up and I start panicking. Like, did I leave that light on? Wait a minute, was that TV on when I fell asleep? Or mm -hmm. I have a dream with the TV on and whatever's on the TV is in my dream. Oh, that's your subconscious brain doing that. I have had a dream, like, okay, not a dream, a nightmare where I've woken up like, oh my God, that was horrible. I just don't want to do that. Gone back to sleep and the dream or nightmare has carried on. And I'm yeah. like, no, 
Get out of my brain. This is not right. happening. Yeah, I've had that. I've had that on many occasions. Do you, going back to you saying about you you dreamed about death or whatever, do you ever have dreams about people that have passed, like your brother or whatever, but not bad dreams, like nice dreams, and you wake up the next day and you feel comfort from that? Um, I've never really had dreams like that. I've never had dreams like that. Now, I'm going to tell you something that was really creepy. When my mother passed away, mm -hmm. I was in the military. And I had to do a, I went on a mission type thing in California. Okay. Now, I was married at the time, so it was crazy. I had a dream that I was laying in my cot. In okay. your cot. Cot. Yeah. Are you a baby? Cot. It's like a, it's like a it's like a make it's like a bed. So you're not a baby in the dream. No, no, no. I'm oh. actually in uniform, but I'm dreaming that I'm laying on my my cot, and my mom comes into my tent. She climbs in the bed with me and kind of like consoles me. Right now, check this out. I was so scared that I woke up. Now, when you're in the military, you, you eat, as you know, I'm a foodie. So I, the next morning, I didn't tell anybody, but I was kind of shook from the dream because mm -hmm. she had just passed away not too long ago. So I go to Chow Hall. The Chow Hall is outside and we're eating at these long tables and you have to stand up Okay, you have to stand and eat. Mm -hmm. But there's like these long tables and you have to stand and eat. Now, it's like one of the long dining room tables, but it was like cement. And I was sitting at the, I was standing at the head of the table. And when I looked up at the other end of the table was my mother standing there. She didn't say nothing. She just looked at me and smiled. And this was, and I'm awoke now. So my heart is pumping. My heart is pumping because I'm like, is this a ghost? Like, am I really tripping? Someone called my name and I looked and I looked and when I turned back, she was gone. Mm -hmm. Later on that day, I called my wife and she was the only person I told that day. I was just like, yo, I had this craziest dream and I woke up, I went to chow, and at the end of the table, I saw my mom standing there just grinning at me. She says, get the freak, get the fudge out of here. Guess what? She was at a cookout, okay? And she's the only woman has ever met my mom. She was the only girlfriend, wife, has ever met my mom in real life. She said she was at a cookout with her mother. It was like, I think it was like Mother's Day or it was some type of mother's cookout outing mm -hmm. type of thing. She said there was a lady that was sitting under a tree. Nobody was talking to her. She was sitting right there. She looked right at her and she said it looked just like my mom. She said, so she went to her mom and was like, you see that lady over there? And her mom was like, yeah, I see her. She was like, do you know her? She's like, I've never seen that lady in my life. Guess what? Someone called her name and she looked away and when she turned around, the lady was gone. Now tell me if that ain't crazy. Do you believe in ghosts and things like that? Not meaning to get off the dream subject? Yeah, I believe in ghosts. Okay, yeah, let, yeah. Me ask, let me ask you this. If you were to dream something about your future, right? So. You were to go to bed tonight, have a dream, and basically it would fast forward to like 10 years time and you saw that something was going to happen. Would you try and prevent that or would you would you go along with it? I'd let it play out. Really? Even if when it was getting near, that it was exactly the same as the dream and you knew something bad was going to happen, you'd still let it play out? i let it play out because it might not be it might not be bad. It might turn out a little differently than how I thought it. So I let it play out. That's the same thing as like when I have these dreams, 
And then all of a sudden, a couple of days later, it, it plays out and I go, man, I just dreamt this. Mm. This happened like last week. I dreamt this last week and it came to fruition. Mm. I just let it play out. Cause it never plays out the way my dream was. So yeah, I would let it play out. How about you? Sorry. You? Sorry. How about you? Um, I think it depends what it was. If it came down to like life or death, and if I did something slightly different, I would save somebody and or save myself. Let me get a tip here. Go ahead. Then I think I would. Like say it was say I was with somebody. I'm not naming names because I don't want to jinx anything. But let's just say I was with somebody <laughs> and say we went to step out into the road and either them or me got knocked over. Whereas if I saw then in however many, you know, days or years, weeks, months to come, I saw the scene playing out. Or would I pull them back or would I personally wait? Yeah, because I've already seen that and it doesn't have a good ending. So if if changing the narrative is going to change the outcome then yeah heck yeah but what i mean obviously if, it, if i dream tonight that i've got a winning lottery ticket because i do x y and z am i going to change it hell to the no you're going to let it play out oh yeah that's what's up that's what's up i don't know i'll let it i'll let everything play out Nah, i don't think so no. All right. That was our dream segment. Okay. Can we just make a pact? When we come back, we've got guests on Sunday. But yes. when we come back and we say, how was your weekend? Can We've got to tell each other if we remember a one, at least one dream between now and then. I'm because down. we've talked about it. So it's going to be in our subconscious brain, right? I'm game. So I'm adding that to the list. Sunday, how was your weekend and a dream? And a delicious, delectable dish that you had that week oh no that's for next friday <laughs> <laughs> that's not a sunday we can't cram everything in sunday we have a guest people we do are we going to tell people who it is or are we going to let them sweat it like oh i'm sweating in this no heat i'm gonna let them sweat uh, let's let them sweat it out yeah i've got a sweat so so can they but we do have to announce when our next instagram live is yeah ne next saturday the 31st next saturday 31st you heard it you heard it here first instagram yeah. live unfortunately richard won't be bringing the boot with him i don't think but the boot with me never know anything could happen anything, anything. Could happen. and also we might have a little um um what's the word we might have a little um think of the word we might have a little treat as regards to your book maybe there might be an offer or a reading or both who knows well, maybe maybe you gotta tune right. in tune in we'll have to discuss that on wednesday yes we will so what's the last segment of today's show rich it's our series you're getting so good at remembering this ah, it's only on, taken you 67 shows but you're finally starting to remember it. Yes. 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 And what is the series? Ozark. <laughs> Ozark on Netflix. Now, while you're finding it, because I know you want to read exactly the bio or whatever, I'm going to tell you that every man and his dog that I know went on about how great this series was. Ozark. It oh, is. my God. It's coming back from it another is, season. Ozark. There's a fourth Ozark. season coming. Okay. I watched it, right? And I really wanted to be a fan because everyone's a fan. Even the dude's a fan. And she was telling me to watch it for months. Finally watched it. After the first one, I was like, I don't get it. And everyone kept saying, like, keep watching, it. keep watching. It gets better. Well, it ain't got better. I got to like episode six or seven. And I'm just like, I don't get it. Uh, you got to understand the man. Let me, let me read it to you, okay? Please tell me there's somebody out there that's with me on this. No, Ozark no, it, on Netflix. I he don't has get five it. years. He has five years to do some money laundering for a crime boss. I get that. And that's the whole premise of the story. The man has the worst. 
you to me, I feel too. like the man has the worst luck ever. And his family is all tied into it. And the more you watch it, the deeper the family gets involved. And I yeah, love it. I know that about killing him. I don't get it. I, I want a fan. And there's another season coming, people. There's three seasons right now. There's a fourth coming, and I can't wait. I just need somebody, anybody out there in the world to comment and say they're with me because nobody is with me when they're, they're against it. Because Ozark it. is the ish. And Jason Bateman is at his best. This is his This is his show. Well, geez, if this is his best, I don't see what his worst is. Holy mother of Mary. No, he's, do, he's done some really good movies too. But this as a serious role, he does a lot of comedies, but as a serious role, he does his thing. It ain't for me, sorry. I've tried, and I'll even try again, but it's a nah. Okay, then. Then what are you rating it, then? One. You're rating it a one? I'm are rating it a one, yeah. If I'm rating you haven't it even one. watched a full, a full season. Have you watched a full season yet? Well, American seasons have got, like, 20 million in one series, so I've only that watched, is true. That I've I've only watched agree. six that or seven, true. so... That okay, fine. True. I'm going to give it a 1.5 and carry on watching. I'm giving it a four, so therefore it gets a five point five. Yeah, that means which it's, it's, is you got you got to watch it. And do you know what? I wouldn't even Tell say. Us I what you think? Because it's an oldie but goodie. It's been out for a minute now. Uh, yeah, but sometimes me and you don't agree, and I say, "Oh, it was manly. It was a man thing and action." It ain't even like that. Like I like oh. things to do with gangsters, drugs, all that malarkey, money laundering, like money heist. Blah, blah, blah. I just couldn't get into this. It weren't me. It weren't a piece of me. Well, I mean, it's not for everyone. I kind of, I really enjoy it. And I can't wait for the fourth season to come out. Okay, well, I'm glad there's something you like, but no, it's not the one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, so you're five out the- of five, five out of five people. Five over. out of five people. That means if you're doing laundry, I always say this, if you're doing laundry and you're doing some folding of some clothes or some house cleaning, if you throw it on and let it play, you'll get sucked right in. Okay, people. And I'm saying 1.5 out of five. If you literally feel like there's nothing left to live for, put it on. There still won't be anything left to live for because it's shrunk. Yeah. Well, tomato, tomato. Potato, patata. <laughs> All right, people. All right, let's. I feel like we talked so much. Let's have a little summarize. So we're coming back on Sunday with a guest, and we're going to tell each other, did we have a dream that we can remember between then and there? Yes. Um, Ozark Netflix five out of five. Tell us what you think. Instagram live next Saturday the thirty first. Mm. Boom. That's how we do it. Mm-mm. All right. Mm-mm. This is Soph. This is Rich. And we are from across the pond. From across the pond. Oh man. Now, as I play that, I'm really sorry. I did say I was going to learn. Is there any way I could add it on to the video at the end rather than us playing it through the thing? Because sometimes you miss the beginning or like today, my volume was down. You can't always hear it. I have not got a Scooby about YouTube. I'm literally, me and you are learning. Uh, social media is my thing. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I'm uh, on it like a, a car. beginner, but I'm learning. TikTok, on it like a car, on it. YouTube. Until 67 shows ago, I never used YouTube apart from to watch how to make something if I needed it. So if anybody out there would like to tell me how I can add the theme tune jingle to the end of our series episode, holler at your peeps. Because we need to Oh, the beginning of the episode. Yeah, but I feel like if it's at the beginning, people will just skip it and go past it. Yeah, that is true. And we'll we don't want you to miss a thing, people. <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon. Oh yeah, sorry, we're going that way. Yep, yep, yep.